Hello everyone. In the subject second language acquisition today we will discuss language acquisition and language learning. This topic is commonly known as the distinction between language learning and language acquisition. So let's begin our today's lecture. Subconscious process. So language acquisition is a subconscious process. We are acquiring a language and without knowing, we are not aware of the fact that we are acquiring a language. So this is called subconscious. So when you are acquiring a language without knowing the fact or without knowing the rules of a language, right? So this is called subconscious. So language acquisition is a subconscious process. Language acquirers are not usually aware of the fact that they are acquiring a language. Because if you focus when children, they are acquiring their first language. So they are not aware, right? Nobody tell them that you should use such and such kind of sentences. But from, the, from their surrounding, from the context, right, in which surrounding they are growing, they are acquiring a language, right? And they don't have any idea of that. They do not know, like, the rules of a language, how to construct a sentence, okay, or how to form a word, or how to form a phrase, so they feel, okay, if, if, you, if you speak in front of them, they can tell you that this sentence is not a correct one, right? But if you ask them that how, so they may not know the rules. So language acquirers are not usually aware of the fact that they are acquiring language, but are only aware of the fact that they are using the language for communication. So here we can conclude or we can infer that language when we are acquiring a language so that is for communicative purpose or language is acquired right uh, through communication when two people okay or a group of people they interact each other so generally they acquire a language so they know that we acquire a language and that language is only for communication. They do not focus that what are the rules, okay, when they construct a sentence. Fine. Now, the result of language acquisition acquired competence is also subconscious. So when you are acquiring a language, so you are also acquiring competence in that language. But that competence is also subconscious. You are, you see, you see, you, you speak a language. Uh, being a native speaker of a language. Okay? Or maybe you use uh, uh, another language. You are, you have competence in that language. Your will profession. But that competence you acquire along with the language unconsciously or through a, a subconscious process. Fine? So we are generally not consciously aware of the rules of the language. So when you have the competence to speak a language, right? So it means that uh, you, you speak a language. You, you, you use well-constructed sentences, right? But you are not consciously aware that how you construct sentences. Because if you ask a, a child, right, who use uh, their first language, that how do you construct a sentence? Where is the subject? Where is the verb? Where is the object? Where is preposition? Where is conjunction? Right? So a child may not tell you, or even adult may not tell you, that how they construct a sentence. So they have competence, but they are not aware of the rules. Fine. Instead, we have a feel for correctness, right? If you are the speaker of a language, suppose of English language, and somebody speaks in front of you, so you can figure out whether he or she is speaking, you, you, he or she is uh, 
uh, making correct sentences or incorrect sentences. And you can feel, right? You may not know the rules, but you can tell him or her that this sentence is incorrect. So because you have acquired the language, and along with the language, you have also acquired the competence of that language, but unconsciously, through a subconscious process. So grammatical sentences sound right or feel right and errors feel wrong. You tell someone okay that you're right or if there's error, you can tell someone that you are wrong. Even if we do not consciously know what rules was violated. Sometimes we do not know, okay, we feel okay that this sentence is incorrect. But we do not know sometimes the rules, that, that which rules are being violated by this person. Now, other ways of describing acquisition include implicit learning. So, we can say that what is acquisition? Acquisition is an implicit learning, right? Not explicit learning, but implicit learning and a kind of informal learning. And natural learning. So these are other names of language acquisition. So language acquisition is an implicit learning, right? Something that is hidden or unconsciously. Or informal learning. What is informal? When you are acquiring a language in a context, people in your surrounding speak that language, use that language, and you pick a language. Nobody instructs you. Okay, nobody gave you proper instruction, but you pick a language. So this would be informal learning or natural learning. What is natural learning? When you are acquiring your first language, so that is a natural learning, right? Natural learning means, okay, that nobody tell you that how to use, what kind, what are the rules of constructing a sentence or to communicate. But naturally, in your surrounding, uh, you pick a language. So these are different names, implicit learnings, informal learnings, or natural learnings, but these all are synonym uh, somehow. In non-technical language, acquisition is picking up a language, right? So there is like a kind of non-technical uh, term is used here. It's a picking up a language. So where do you pick a language from? You pick a language from the context. If you go to USA, if you go to UK and in your surrounding, all people, they speak English language. So you pick up an English language. So this is when you pick up a language. So this would be language acquisition because nobody instructs you. Nobody tells you the rules. Okay. Nobody gave you proper instructions of a language, but you pick up a language in a natural uh, su surrounding, right? Right, and an in type of, a type of informal learning. I hope you got it. Okay. Now we have here now language learning. So that was language acquisition. What is language acquisition? Implicit learning, informal learning, natural learning, or picking up a language. And when you pick up a language unconsciously or subconsciously without know the rules of a language or uh, you do not aware of the rules of a language but you speak a language, right? Subcon so this you acquire a language through a subconscious process, fine? So this would be language acquisition. Now what is a language learning? On the other hand, language learning needs proper instruction or it is a kind of conscious process. If acquisition is unconscious or subconscious process, so then learning would be a conscious process. You pay attention, you listen to the instruction, you, 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 you uh, learn the rules, okay? And you focus that how sentences are structured. You go to the classroom. Okay. Somebody tells you that what is the correct sentence and what is the incorrect sentence. So then that would be language learning. 
The second way to develop competence in a language and a second language is by language learning. So one is one way is in the second language to develop competence that is through uh, uh, like uh, uh, subconsciously and one way that is through uh, language learning. We will use the term learning henceforth to refer to the conscious knowledge of a second language. So when you have the conscious knowledge of a second language, that would be learning. And when you have the, a subconscious knowledge of a second language, that would be acquisition, right? So knowing the rules, being aware of them and being able to talk about them, in non-technical term, learning is knowing about a language. So learning is knowing about a language. Acquisition is not knowing about a language, but you have competence, right? So when you say that you know about a language, it means that you know the rules of a language. And when we, when we say that we are not aware of the rules, right? So then that would be language acquisition. So know, known to most people as grammar or rules. When we say that we know about a language, so we know the rules and grammar. Some synonym include formal knowledge of a language or explicit learning. So on the one hand, we have implicit learning. Implicit learning, that is language acquisition. And explicit learning, that is language learning. Or we can say that uh, language acquisition, that is subconscious process. And language learning, that is a conscious process. Language acquisition, we do not know the rules of a language. And language learning, we know the rules of a language, like grammar <clears throat> or uh, some rules of <clears throat> a language, right? Now, some second language theorists <clears throat> have assumed that children acquire what adults can only learn. There's some, one of the theory is there, right? Their children acquire while adult, they do not acquire a language. They learn a language. But Stephen Krishan does not agree with them. He thinks that adult can also acquire a language the way a child acquires. So the acquisition learning hypothesis claims, however, that adults have acquired, that adults also acquire. As children acquire their first language, so adult can also acquire, right? Second language. So that the ability to pick up languages uh, does not disappear at puberty. Some theorists think with the, with the passage of time, right, when you are in your 30s or when you are in your 40s, right? Or when you are in your 20s, right? When puberty, puberty is gone. When you cannot acquire a language, you learn a language. That is some theorists, they think. But uh, like uh, uh, language uh, acquisition hypothesis or Stephen Christian, he claims that no, even after puberty, you can acquire a language the way a child acquires. So this does not mean that adults will always be able to achieve native-like levels in second language. So if you are adult and you acquire a language, it's not possible that you will achieve native, okay, like levels uh, in competence of a second language. It does not mean that adult can access the same natural language acquisition device their children use. It does mean that adult can access the same natural language acquisition device their children use. The way children use acquisition device to acquire a language with the same way adult can also, but adult cannot achieve native like competence in a second language. I hope you got it. Now, error correction has little or no effect on subconscious acquisition. If you are making errors, Right? It has no effect on 
uh, uh, subconscious acquisition but is thought to be useful for conscious learning okay error making uh, fruitful for conscious learning because you know about the rules but error error uh, correction has little or almost no effect on subconscious acquisition if you're making error doesn't matter but if, if you're learning a language it matters a lot it is fruitful so error error correction supposedly help the learner to induce or figure out the right form of a rule if you are learning a language so error will alert you that where you are making mistake if for example a student of english as a second language say i goes to school every day and the teacher corrects him or her by repeating the utterance correctly the learner is supposed to realize that the sir ending goes with the third person and not the first person and alter his or her conscious mental representation of the rule this appears reasonable but it is not clear whether error correction has this uh, impact on an, an actual practice or not so on this slide we learn that if you are acquiring a language so error correction has little or almost no impact on that and if you are learning a language so error correction will uh, be fruitful for you and you are going to learn the rules you are going to correct your language evidence from child language acquisition confirmed that error, error correction does not influence acquisition to any great extent brown and his colleagues has shown that parents usually correct only a small portion of the child's language occasional pronunciation problems certain verbs and dirty words they conclude from their research and parents attend far more to the truth value of what the child is saying rather than to the form so when a child is acquiring a language so their parents fo focus right the truth value whether he is telling something uh, there is truth or not and they do not focus the form because if a child is making errors the parents uh, ignore them right they do not care about that however if that is if if, if it comes to true value whether what the child is saying is true or not then it matters and they are correcting then they do now the acquisition learning distinction may not be unique to second language acquisition we certainly learn small part of our first language in school uh, for example most people uh, uh, the who home distinction and similar distinction have been made in other demands now you remember that a language is never ever acquired 100% and a language is never ever learned 100% if you are acquiring a language so some of the things will be there that you will learn like for example uh, focus your children when they are acquiring their first language so some of the things or some of the part of their first language they will learn in school through proper instruction given by the teacher or by the parents at home and when you are learning a language so a small portion might be there that would be uh, connected with acquisition so no language is 100% acquired and no language is 100% Uh, learned so if you are acquiring a language a small portion might be there that that would be uh, connected with learning and if you are learning a language a small part will be there that would be connected with acquisition the same thing is saying is said here that uh, when you uh, ch send your children to school right so they learn in school some of the distinction between where to use who or where to use home so we have also some other domains where corrections are required so when corrections are required then it comes to learning so in even when you are acquiring a language some of the things you are going to learn so that was the distinction between language acquisition and language learning language acquisition that is a subconscious process and you gain competence 
along with the language that is subconsciously. Language acquisition is a kind of informal learning or language acquisition is like a kind of natural learning or language acquisition is a kind of picking up a language and language learning is a conscious process right or language learning is knowing about the rules of a language okay and language learning you know or you have competence you know that you have competence of a language so thank you so much in coming lectures we will have more discussions uh, on some more topics in the subject second language acquisition please do provide your valuable comments and feedback in comment section thank you so much